the chance of you being hit by a fragment of asteroid is about the same as dying in a plane crash. That's surprisingly high. In this short film, we meet Miriam Tallis, a geologist who's examining what asteroids are made from. My name is Miriam Tellis, and uh, I'm a PhD student at the University of Hawaii in the uh, Geology and Geophysics Department. Um, I work with Dr. Gary Huss, and I, my research is in cosmochemistry. Uh, in cosmochemistry, we want to understand um, basically the composition of the, of the universe and how it got that way. How we approach this is m mainly to study meteorites. Meteorites mostly come from the asteroid belt and they're the oldest material we have. They give us a lot of information about the earliest periods of the solar system formation and the, the events that took place to, to create the solar system. So the fragments of a, a meteor that actually survive entry into the atmosphere and make it to the Earth's surface, they're called meteorites. We categorize them into different groups based on what they're made of. So some are stony meteorites, and they're made of, of mostly rock. Some are iron meteorites, and they're made up of iron metal, iron nickel metal. And then there's some that have a hybrid, hybrid between rock and iron. This one, is a chondrite. So this is what the meteorite would look like when we find it on the ground. So it has this black layer on the outside from the fireball entry into the atmosphere. On February 15th, a fairly large fragment of an asteroid, about 20 meters across, entered the Earth's atmosphere. 20 meters is pretty large compared to most of the material that normally hits the Earth, which is about the size of a grain of sand or a grain of rice. It produced a fireball in the sky that could be seen for hundreds of miles. That initial 20 meter body broke up pretty violently into thousands of pieces that were scattered across a, a city in the surrounding area, a city called Chelyabinsk in Russia. And that shockwave shattered lots of windows. While people were at their windows looking at the fireball, a few seconds later, the windows basically shattered in their face. And so it, um, a, about 1,500 people got injured because of that. This is fairly large compared to what normally hits the Earth, but also small when you think of um, there, are, there are millions of fragments of asteroids that are bigger than 20 meters. Mm -hmm. 